Coding Made Easy. So what's up everybody, this is Peter aka Coding Made Easy coming to you with your next C-Sharp Made Easy tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about if statements and if statements is a favorite for a lot of people because uh, with if statements it allows you to make decisions so doing decision making uh, for the computer now as you become a programmer you start to realize that computers are really stupid they're really dumb um, and they do exactly what you tell them to do right they can't think for you and say oh, maybe he wants to do this no you have to tell them exactly what you want to do and it will do exactly what you tell it to do so you're the smart ones not really the computer and so we need to be smart enough to tell the computer what to do and yada 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 so in order to do this, uh, we are working with true or false. We're going to be working with Boolean values, right? So it, it works like basic English. We say if a statement is true, then we execute some code. And if a statement is false, then we don't execute a code. And if you've ever heard of binary, binary is a series of one. Uh, it's a series of, how do I call it? It's... Uh, binary is a, a numeral system with the base 2 so it can either have the value 1 or 0 and so uh, we can use this as a light switch example so if we turn on the light switch the value of the boolean statement or the binary statements are be 1 and if we turn off the light then the binary value would be 0 and so this is essentially how um, it works for if statements. So remember the Boolean data type that we explored in the variables tutorial? A Boolean can either have the value true or false. So think of true as value 1 and false as value 0. So that's essentially how if statements work. So we say if a value is true, we execute it. If a value is false, we don't execute it. So let's take a look at how this works. So we're just going to be doing a simple grades example. So what we want to do is we want to take a numerical grade that somebody entered and um, we want to convert it to a, uh, a letter grade. Now here in Canada, if you get 80% or higher, that means you have an A. If you get uh, uh, 70 70% uh, 70 to 80%, that's a B. And we have um, 60 to 70, that's a C. And 50 to 60% is a D anything below that is an F. Uh, so we'll be simulating this right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to say console right line. And I'm going to say please enter a grade. Or actually we're going to use write. So I never showed you this but write writes something to the text but it keeps it on the same line so it doesn't start doing stuff on the next line. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put um, I'm do int grade and we're going to say convert to int32 like we learned in the last tutorial and we'll say console.read line so we're going to read our text and so we have our grade right now so this is what we're going to learn about if statements so we're going to say okay if so that's how it works and we do if uh, we have to put the uh, the brackets or the parentheses. So inside the parentheses, we put our statements that we actually want to 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 check for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check if you have um we're gonna check first to see if you have um, an F. Okay. So we're gonna say if grade is less than. 50. So we just learned a new symbol. So this one is a less than symbol. So it says, okay, if the grade is less than 50, then we're going to execute something below it. If it is, yeah, so if it's true. So in order to execute statements, we use our braces, right? So the braces encapsulates code within this area. So we can do, sorry, so if the grade is less than 50, we'll say right line you failed and so uh, we're going to do uh, checks for the other grades so we're going to put if if grade is greater than or equal to 50 
So this is a greater than or equal to sign. So it checks to see if this value is greater than 50 or if it's equal to 50. And then we're going to use the and symbols. So we're going to do the ampersand and we're going to say two ands. So this checks for two things. So we're going to say, we're going to say and grade is less than or equal to 60. So what's going on here? So we're checking two different things. And so this is how our if statement is going to work. It's going to say if grade is greater than or equal to 50, right, then that statement is true right here, right? But we're not done yet. This and makes it so that this statement and this statement has to be true in order to execute what is within these braces. So if the grade they entered is 70, right? Yes, grade is greater. 70 is greater than 50, but 70 is not less than or equal to 60. So therefore, this whole statement would not be true. So it has to be a value be, um, uh, that is either between 50 and 60. So if that's the case, then we'll say right line, you got a D. I'm going to do the same thing again. So we're going to say grade is greater than or equal to, actually, never mind, it should be between 60 and 59. So instead, we'll say if grade is less than 60. So it has to be a grade between 50 and 59. So in this case, we're going to say if it's greater than or equal to 60 and grade is less than 70, well, it should be 60. And we're going to print, you got a C. And we're going to do the same thing here, greater than or equal to 70. And grade is less than 80. We're going to say console.writeLine, you got a B. And lastly, we're going to say if the grade is greater than or equal to 80 and grade is less than or equal to 100, then we're going to say you got an A. So cool. I'm just going to put console reline. So let's run, let's run our first decision making program. So we entered a grade. So we're going to say, let's enter grade 60. So it says you got a C. So what happened? It came here and it said, okay, well, if grade is less than 50, which is not, so it skipped over it. So this stuff in here did not get executed. Then it went here. It said, if grade is greater than 50, yep, it's true. And grade is less than 60. Is grade less than 60? No, it's not. It's equal to 60. So this doesn't get executed. Then right here, it says if grade is greater than or equal to 60, is our grade equal to 60? Yes, it is. And our grade is less than 70. Is it is it less than 70? Yes, it is. Print this. And so obviously these two aren't uh, true. And then so it prints the value you got to see. So you just made your first decision making pro. So uh, we're going to leave it at this for this tutorial, but in the next tutorial, we're going to be learning about a different way in order to structure this code and more extensions to if statements. And one thing, the reason why I'm showing you a different way is that a lot of people think that there's only one way to do something uh, because maybe in school they teach you there's only one way to do a particular thing, but in programming, there's a thousand and one ways to do the same different thing. Right, so there's no right or wrong way, there's just more effective or more efficient ways to do certain things. So, we're going to be learning about different ways on how to do things to show you that you don't have to follow my way or follow Bob's way or follow the next guy's way. You can do it your own way, and if it works, it works, and if it's efficient, it's efficient. So, anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and bye for now.